Hello there. Let us start uh, this session on SDLC faces. This session will talk about uh, the maintenance phase. The previous session we talked about user acceptance testing and uh, deployment testing. Now the assume that everything went through fine and the product is now in live production still it goes through test right even in work you would have uh, heard that on the job training right the company need not give you a specific training but if they put you into a project and make you work that work itself is a training to you while you are doing the work you are continuously evaluated that itself is a test right based on that output people may crack interviews or written tests but if you put them into a real work <coughs> maybe they may not do the right thing right they might be needing some other extra help so the real use itself is a test real usage is a test during that time certain things do happen okay the first and foremost thing that always happens is repair right bug fixes though we have done unit testing integration testing system testing acceptance testing deployment testing still there will be some bugs which did not come out suddenly they will appear right if such bugs appear then it has to be communicated back to the teams and it needs to be fixed during the maintenance phase there will be a customer support or help desk team right they will be working uh, close to customer customer may call this customer support hey i was trying to do something here it was not working uh, so they will log some issues as tickets right customer support tickets then a ticket is nothing but a bug reported by the customer the customer support team will communicate back to the testing team and development team and they have to fix it test it again redeploy right again the whole cycle will repeat for the smaller fix right so this happens maybe once in a while it may not happen every day but at least once in a fortnight or once in a month something or the other when they face the real data as i said in one of my previous sessions using a software unassumingly right this is key the end users may use it in their own way that itself will cause some issues and they may enter data in a wrong way that you have not anticipated so that data given by the end user may cause problems all these things are nothing but bug fixes it's same like you buy a car and uh, it's not that every car will be smooth for 10 years right even after purchase uh, tire may burst or uh, the lights may go off wipers may not be working there may be a crack in the windshield right so you need some regular maintenance repair work for any item including software that happens the second thing that happens during maintenance phase is enhancements that means new features are included for example you already have a car and uh, now previously you had a cassette player in that car now you want to install a cd player or a dvd player right so you are improving the car obviously it needs some something to be taken out and something to be reinstalled right or the car is there and you want to have a gps uh, 
locator, right? They see a basically a root routing software or some some help that does visually where you are currently driving, right? So it's it was not there before. The key is not there before customer now wants it right this is a good sign that means product is improving so usually customers may need a variety of reports so depending upon the management requirement they will say I need this report previously it is not there now get it right uh, the workflow was previously like this uh, take a bank uh, bank says uh, if I have to do some loan approval previously it was two levels of approval now we want to have one more check if uh, if the amount is more than say 200,000 it needs to have a third level approval if this is not done or programmed before now we need to do it it's always some addition or some change they call this as change request that means customer wants it obviously a new enhancement will always go through again a small amount of design coding unit testing integration testing system testing but it may be one or two features but it goes through the SDLC cycle in a shorter way right that's a uh, second thing that happens the third thing that happens is upgrade right though the word upgrade and uh, enhancements look the same or sound the same there's a slight difference right this is typically not the product upgrade typically environment upgrades right suddenly uh, the customer is say say I am using right now uh, Windows 2003 server now I am I am going to use the next version of Windows right or they will say I am using say Linux 4.0 now I have to move to 5.0 or they may say I am using this database 4.0 I want to move to 5.0 right typically OS or database or web server or hardware upgrades right this keep on happening they may increase the RAM they may increase uh, CPU they may increase the network or they may change from one machine to another machine right migrate the data from one place to another place but it happens right even whatever you do as a regular exercise every day it is a maintenance work for the body right if you don't do exercise obviously you may get some issues then you have to you may get some disease it goes through bug fixing it may be as simple as uh, taking some diabetes tablets or uh, uh, blood pressure tablets or even it may be a costly bug fix on the body like bypass surgery for the heart same way and uh, you may want to people do plastic surgery to the body right it, you are enhancing right you are upgrading the body what when you say how will I upgrade the body that, that means if I move to a different environment say I am used to hot temperatures I am now moving to say Canada I am moving to a cold so I have to adjust it right for that you need to do something right so you may have to do some protections right so it's all upgrades so moving from one environment to another environment it invariably happens but the moment you move right you may have to go through some checks right even if you up go for some countries right they say uh, visit multiple countries then you may have to take some uh, vaccines right so wh why do I need to take the vaccine it's a preventive measure right there is a chance that the environment in which you were might have affected you when you are moving to a new environment you may cause issues right same way when you move software from one hardware to another hardware or uh, from one version to another version of softwares it's it may cause some issues again testing goes on right so during the maintenance bug fix happens enhancements happen then upgrades do happen this is going on in a cycle right 
you cannot say this should happen first this should happen next there is no order whichever is priority for the customer on that day that takes place right this is typically a maintenance phase and uh, take it from me 80% of the revenue that service companies get right, it's all from maintenance it's, that means uh, if you take a big service company software service company in US or India or UK or Australia the product is already existing with the customer and you are doing maintenance of it 80% of the revenue comes from service so and that service is a maintenance service developing from scratch is uh, less compared to in terms of revenue in, in terms of revenue new development versus maintenance this is a typical case okay I keep on maintaining for years and years and years what happens after that at some point product will become obsolete that means sunset time they call it as a sunset period that means the product will not live forever if I remember correctly in 1988 uh, to 1992 when I was in the college we have uh, we had a software called uh, WordStar for word processing today I I have asked many people do you know WordStar they said no that means it has disappeared at least from India I don't know whether it is being used in anywhere else but at least from the places where I see we don't see that software being used right same way if you look at uh, say Windows uh, Microsoft Windows 3.1 today is it there not there when new versions come better features right when better features come old products will be discarded same way like if your car is too old if the maintenance cost is higher than new purchase right maintenance cost if it goes greater than new purchase obviously I'll go for the new purchase because repairing cost will become a problem for me so when software see better features or uh, maintenance cost is going up people will move to new products that's typically the death of the software right old software it becomes obsolete after that new versions will come see people misunderstand features versus products right it may be the product dying but not the feature for example cut and paste this is a feature cut and paste is existing even when we were in 1992 or today even after 18 years the feature exists but the product that used that the same feature on that day may not be today spell check font changing right printing the features may not die but the products die so what is the difference there if another product does the feature in a better way and if the cost is less and if the speed is more right obviously people will go for that and then it will become the new one right typically it, it goes with the saying old order changeth right the old things will change yielding place to new right this is inevitable the change is the only constant right it keeps on changing lower cost better features faster right and sleek easy to use all these things will determine whether this product should go or the next product should come right this is typically happening in every maintenance phase of every product okay let us stop here